Okay, recording. Okay. All right. Um, meeting began with hearing from the appellants at 9.02 a.m. today. So now we're moving into our deliberative session. And let's sort of go in order of the appointments. And the first was Boehner 56 Forest Drive, a 2010 Nissan. Jeff, you do have to yeah. say that little yeah. bit that's in the that statement. Thing. There's that statement. Um, Which statement? Oh, this one? oh, okay. Yeah, they, they just told us that we have to. Okay. All right. That. That's all. That's okay. <laughs> all right. So read the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. The actual hearings were held in the parking lot to align with social distancing recommendations. Uh, deliberations are not are beginning now. We have completed all the hearings and I'm calling the meeting to order. Per Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7B, deliberations and voting is being recorded. As such, we'll be using Zoom to accomplish this. Sonia will, is in the council chambers hosting the meeting while attending members will, are in the town manager's conference room. Juan is our support person. Uh, everything is being recorded. It'll be posted to YouTube for public viewing. Um, Meeting, I'm calling the meeting to order while I'm on camera. The following uh, is being said. This meeting of the Town of Wethersfield Board of Assessment Appeals is called to order Saturday, September 19th at 2020. It is now 11.04 a.m. and it's being recorded per Governor, Governor Lamont's Order 7B. Um, I'm gonna do a roll call. Uh, Jeff Kotkin, present. Tony Helmicki? Present. Dave Drake? Present. Okay. Microphones must remain unmuted while the meeting's being recorded uh, so that everything we say can be heard. The video will remain on while being recorded so everything we do will be seen. And we're not using the chat feature because this is not visible in the recording. Sounds good. Okay. All right, so on to our appeals. The first appeal again is Nicole Boehner, 56 Forest Drive. It is a 2010 Nissan Sentra. Um, she was present. So any, any thoughts on that? The mileage on this car was 131,000 miles anyway on it. Your estimate of value was $1,000. Um, it was referencing the Kelly Blue Book, if I remember. Yes, I'm looking up right now. The current net assessment is three thousand. I, I, I think it's worth definitely more than the the thousand that right. that she assigned to it. The car was in reasonably good shape. Did you guys know what the mileage was on that? Yeah, I did. It was 132. Well, it was 132. Did it, did it change after application? Well, she put it headed as 132 as of 10 1 19. A couple of them changed the mileage after they submitted the application, and that's why he was asking. Um, you know, to me, if there's any reduction, it's it's probably uh, fairly minimal. I agree. Okay. The car seems to be, you know, it's 10, 10 years old, 13,000 miles a year seems fairly normal. Jeff, the book values go from $4,000 up to $5,600. Nissan Sentra S. What was it for the value? The 2010 Nissan Sentra S. It's pretty clear the average retail is $4,500. The assessment's $3,000. Do you remember much damage on this? I don't think there was. Just the wheels were a little bit banged up. Yeah. I think they were hubcap. So the law requires us to use the NADA book value, so I'm comfortable with a no change on this one if you guys could okay. come up with 
comfortable with that? I made that note when she came in to appeal it. It is based on what we were giving copies of the OPM uh, recommended guidelines. Anyway, on it. So uh, okay. make I'll, a I'll make a motion, no change. A second. All right, a motion and a Keep second. Going. For no change in assessment, all those in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. David Tim. Okay. Well, uh, unanimous. All right, no change. We'll use your form as the primary guide. Today's the, let's say the 19th. 19th, 19th all day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Till midnight. Actually, I think the 3,000 are doing. You want me to sign it there? Yep. We we'll give these right to you, Paul. All right. Uh, next one is uh, from John Brady. Uh, his wife came to represent him. This is a 2001 Toyota Tacoma. Um, current assessment 3820. They estimate value of no more than 1500. I will say last year we reduced it uh, down to 2200. This had a lot of last time. Oh, I'm sorry, 2000. We knocked it down to 2000 last year. Yeah, this is, yeah, this, is this thing was rust. It had a lot of rust with 2001 with 237,000 miles. Can I make a motion to bring it down to 2000? Any, any objections? No, I'll second. Okay. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. So BAA assessment is 2000. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then we had uh, two different Subarus owned by uh, Carmelo Gonzalez of, uh, let's see, 340 Church Street. Uh, look up the new one. Uh, the, I'll start with the older one, which is a 2011 Subaru Legacy. Uh, the current assessment is 5650. The estimate of value was 7800. Um, was this was this a sedan or the wagon? I can't. This was the this was the smaller one. This was the sedan. The Forester was the bigger one. If you look on that photo, Dave, you'll see that there's a, a model number. Yeah. Typically, you can find the fourth, fifth, and sixth digit for that model. Um, sedan and Ford, it's not a GT, it's just, it's just, so it's just a normal one. 4450 to 6850. 4450 to 6850, and that's the lowest end one it has. Unless I'm reading it wrong. Sometimes the VIN numbers she are gave us, I'm not sure what this was because she gave us higher numbers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the 7,800 times 0. 0.7 is. Anyway, clean retail, clean trade. Yeah. Uh, 5460. 7,800 times 70%. 54, I mean, it's basically, the, I mean, she's basically suggesting the same value. We've yeah, this the same. Yeah. It all comes down to what options, some of the stuff we don't really have. Four door I. Four door I. See it in there, Jim? Uh, Tony? Yep. Four, four door, door I. I. All wheel drive. You get the premium that's up to 7,100. Yeah, 68.50, but it's still in the ballpark. Yeah. Well, you know, if you lower, I think, I'll be honest with you, I think you're a little high. Maybe, but not so if you lowered a thousand dollars off the, you know, it's still not too far off. No, you're not off much. Do you want to go to what she said? Ask for 7,800? Yeah, I would. 
What, what was that for again? 54 <coughs> something? 5460. The assessment, if it was 7800, would be 5460. I'm not sure why she came in. Yeah. Do you want to just go to 5460? <laughs> I guess I would. I mean, it's. The range isn't too far out of whack. Sure. Yeah, I would. Make yeah, that I'm motion, not... Jeff? Yep. Okay. 54. I'll make a motion to go from 56. 50 to 5460. Right. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Unanimous. Okay. And then uh, the next one is there again. 2015, you get that? Yep. yep. 2015 Forester. That's about a Currently, it's about 105,000 miles. Um, current assessment is 10,380, uh, 10, their estimate of value. This does have higher mileage uh, relative to the age than the other one. Um, it's 105,000, and it's a 2015. So that's like 20,000 a year. Um, I don't think there was anything wrong with it. The no, vehicle other both, than high also, mileage. Both were in great shape. Yeah. Retail value would create an estimate of 8,600 is what she said for net assessment rather than the given 10, three the retail value. But the retail value on the NADA for the Forester four cylinder premium is 13,000 to 18,500. 5DI premium, so it's the high end one. It's the 5DI premium. That book value is 14825 What do we have on? It's high mileage, right? Yeah, here it is. It's her sheets are the same one. She took up $1,000 for mileage. So we get, she's at 12.4. So it's a mileage adjustment. Yeah. Okay, but she and she's at 12.4, clean retail. That seems big so. trading. So she's at 12.4, so it kind of that, Jesus, I think it's the same number, right? That brings it to 8,600. Want to bring it down to 9,000? What are you talking about? 12,400 times 0. 0.7. 8,688, yeah, you're right. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. I think we're too high. Right. So if we go 8,000? No, no, 8,600. 80, 80, 80, Let's go with the Yeah, and then we know what the calculation is. I think she's right. Yeah, with, with a mileage adjustment. With a mileage okay. adjustment, yeah. Uh, okay. uh, um, I think this woman's got it right on. I'll make it motion to go to 8680. I'll, I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You said 8680? Yes. 8680, yeah. Okay, unanimous? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one is, uh, the next two are from the Judas's. Um, last year, right? This is one yes, last year. yeah, 29 Beach Tree. Um, if we start with. Both with salvage titles, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So if we start with the uh, 2005 Honda, um, last year we brought that down to 2200. Um, I think mostly probably because of the salvage title. And the 200,000 miles on it, right? That's what my notes said. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's got 216,000 miles on it. So we could go back to the same thing. I'd go yeah. back on both of those cars. Yep, yeah, go back. I number. agree. Both high mileage salvage titles. Okay. The second one's 590, this one's 2300. Okay, so let's start with... Uh, the first one. So we're going to go. Uh, I'll make a motion to move the pilot to 2200 from 3890. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. And then the next one is a uh, 2008 Nissan Altima. That was in rough shape. It also had the uh, salvage title last year. We brought that down to $590. I'll make a motion to do that again. $590. I'll second it. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. It's unanimous. We're not mumbling with our masks on? Nope, I'm getting it. Yeah. Okay, our next appellant, um, Ivan Zhu uh, of 145 Jordan Lane did not show. So, so we're going to skip. That's my perfect. This is a no show. Okay, so now we're down to Marco Zitzitsky, uh, 125 Morgan Circle. Yeah, and this is the 1997 Toyota Supra. And this one has an antique app affidavit that's on the list so what what that means is that we should be moving it down to um we will get it next time it's up to you what you want to do for this time if you want to apply it through the board or if you want to value it's up to you let's see this one was it a problem with the motor vehicle department of getting the uh, historic plates there's a couple of them applied um, well, because dmv is shut down for a certain yeah, I don't. I don't know. I didn't look this one up in particular. I don't know. Sometimes, Hold on, guys. Somebody's knocking on the door. Sometimes they don't want the historical plate, or maybe he's talking. I don't know what the reason he wants to have this one, but they don't have to have the historical plate. Obviously, it makes it 500 if they did automatically. But so does our form. But we can't apply the form until we have the form. So. He claimed he paid seventeen thousand for it in two thousand and fifteen. Our value was twenty one six thirty. Um, if we discounted the seventeen thousand, but again, a lot of these are going up in value. Okay, okay. 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 so near a zip code sixty eight thousand dollars. Okay, we on car guru or what are you looking at? Guys, you know, you... yeah. guys, there's um, sheep, sheep fung. Chen, I think, oh, that was is our, outside. Oh, that's our 1040. Yeah, he um he was coming from somewhere, I guess, so he's late. What do you? Uh, I honestly, I'd like to get through all these and then go back out. Uh, okay, so I'll tell him to wait. Yeah, tell him to wait. It would probably be, I would think, 25 or 30 minutes. Okay, just give me a minute so I, because I want to be able to catch what you guys decide on the Supra. Yep, we'll be yeah. a minute. Yeah. We'll give it two minutes. Fifty-nine thousand, sixty-six thousand, sixty-nine thousand, sixty-four thousand. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Remember we pulled up. I get. That's amazing. I can take the thousand dollars. Your car is there. Yeah. Worth it. I know what you do there. He is going to put the antique plate, I think, on it, right? I'm not even sure what he's asking for. Tell you the truth. He filed, he filed, I think he turned in the old car after creating the antique affidavit form, which would go into effect for the next grammar. It's just this current one that you're having to decide how you want to address it. How'd you, how'd you get the 21,000? It's probably from the old car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So imagine that, I mean, it definitely, According to this, it worked. Now maybe his isn't really perfect, but it looked pretty good to me. It did look great, <laughs> actually. Well, his value that he says is 32.4, right. and that's above what you're assessing that. Well, he needs to go get the $500 deal. He's got to do it, right? That's not a thousand. Yeah, he's done it. It's yeah. just not. It doesn't yeah, go retro. Doesn't he go doesn't retro. go retro. So retro. I say no change. I say no change. No change. Oh, no. Yeah. Give him a gift of no change. That's for the this is on the the Supra. The '97 yeah. Toyota Supra. Yeah. So who made the motion? I'm sorry. I'll make the motion. No change in assessment. Second. Second. Okay, Dave seconded. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. No change in assessment. Mm -hmm. I've never seen your little cars in a car like that. No, I just did not Then it keeps it going. Is that a typo? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, the next one is oh, his brother, Meg, uh, Megget. Uh, oh, on the second. Oh. Right there. 
I think I did the right thing. Yep, you got it. Um, this mm -hmm. is a 2011 Cadillac. SRF, 90,000 miles on it. We have it at 7,400. He's suggesting the values. That's rebuilt, that's the problem, right? Yeah. Rebuilt. And he gave a rebuilt title, if I remember. We he did. showed it to him. Yeah, and we were talking about maybe taking 30% off. For, he wanted 50% off, but we were talking about maybe 30% off. Thirty percent off at the seven four hundred. I give him a fifty two hundred dollar value. He wanted forty three ninety. So we go from seventy four hundred to fifty two hundred. You live with that? I'm fine with that. I think we've done that before in rebuild title and salvage sell, sell titles and anyway. it's they always go, that discount. They, they go from ten six to fourteen. So it's seven four hundred dollars in the world, and this is fine. Yeah. And uh, I thought that's so I don't have a problem with it. So 5200? 5200. I'll make that motion to 5200. I'll second it. Okay. I think that's what you have. All, the, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So from 7400 to 5200. That's good. Especially with my eyes, they're not Okay, uh, the next one mm -hmm. is uh, Marty Grant 309 Fox Hill. This is the 1980 Mazda. This one, not that it's not running, it hasn't, it hasn't run. So uh, he didn't so put the insurance up. I mean, the, the antique stuff in, so that's kind of not our problem. I mean, we should have done it. Yeah, he has an antique affidavit in, but this, so this is going backwards. Um, the current assessment is 79.10. Doesn't run in the year, according to my notes. Yeah. He's, he's an engineer. He likes to work on it himself. He's had a lot of trouble buying parts for it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it for it's, got, it's got a lot of engine. That's mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. Which is that rotary engine. Yeah. All right, right. But, let me see. Our value right now is. Eleven three. I believe he also submitted the antique affidavit. He did. Yeah, he filed it on June thirtieth. I think we still have to in my mind they still have to go to DMV and get the historic plate. But is that pending? Is that mandatory? No, we don't do it make them do it. We we'll take the form. They can do either one. Yeah. So it's, it's sort of either one way or the other, I would guess. Um, and he says it's not running. Do you want to reduce it as a result? Reduce it to what? Oh, it's a question. I just want to say, well, for 1300 bucks. That's real, it's probably running, right? Probably. Yeah. Some sort of country sale or something. Couldn't bring it in. No, because it's not running. Yeah. Shall we run, reduce it to a thousand? Well, we were at 700 before, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here's one here for 10 five, so it's all yeah. Yeah, they're all over the place. Can't tell. But again, that would be road worthy if you're buying right. it from a dealership. And of my point, maybe the 700 not far off. I think I should have done it. Uh, it worked there. I don't know. It's a tough one. It's only your fault. Are you comfortable done. with that affidavit process? Because I know it's 
it's a policy that you have on it, uh, the judgment call. Yeah, I mean, we well, we, we we just with the super, we didn't, we just we didn't change, we made no change. Yeah. So so the question is, you know, if we want to make that consistent. Here you go. Here, here, here. We have 10, 5, 67, 159, 95. And those are road worthy. So six grand would be road worthy. 4,000 might be something sitting in the garage that's not road worthy. According to them, average price is like 10 to 10 to 11,000. Yeah. If you're going to buy one. That's the pickle worthy. Yeah. So seven, seven, nine, ten is not. For a road worthy car. Well, you bring in, I don't know what road worthy is. You might just say, could start it. But it's, no, no, it's not. It's still registered. Why is it yeah. registered? The point is, I think it won't work in the files. Yeah. I think okay. you need to. So, what happens to they have to pay this year? They get straight down, make sure you get the $55 deal. Yeah. 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 Like I said, I don't want to punish the guy. But, you know, it's what's work. All right. So, do you want to make no change? I said no change. No okay. Do you make, make a motion? I'll make a motion that we don't change the exception. I'll second the motion. Get it straight okay. down. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, no change. Okay, so the next one, two. He didn't give us any pictures. No, 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 no. The next four were Graver Tree. Graver did not come. So skip over that. Uh, the next one is uh, Lewis Maffa. Uh, this is the Volkswagen van again. He used to have an antique plate. Well, he used to have an antique plate, then he paid 8000 for it a year ago. And he's going to get an antique plate. Yeah, he swore under oath that he will get another antique plate. And isn't he the one who said he can't get it through motor vehicles because they're not taking the application? Which is the the old one. I know everything's been kicked down the road for him. Yeah. Getting your driver's license done, getting your cars registered. Not as easy as it used to be. No. By appointment. I think it's by appointment with really? restrictive, yeah. You don't walk up the window with a TV glass. No, I don't think so. I don't know. So yeah, he did fill out the affidavit that I mean that I guess it's I am the beholder. The car is not the vanigan was not in very good. It's not in great. Wasn't shape. bad though. <laughs> Wasn't bad. He, paid eight, he paid eight grand for it a year ago. Want to bring it down to seventy percent of eight grand? Well, we have not been it, right? Yeah, we have 9,200. If he paid that, he looked at it. Remember he was saying the range of value for some of these? You know, yeah, so I'm going to dance. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Here's the 82, 15, 9, 71, 12, 4, 79. Mm -hmm. Here's a 79, 4,000. Here's a 77, 28,000. 76, 10,000. 77. You're old. You're old. Yeah. What? What is the? What is the? Because this, this, this doesn't have it filled in. The, what the current assessment is on it? Oh, I missed one. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we got we got the, the assessment's ninety one. We did this year. There's a lot of it. It is ninety one. Ninety one twenty. Well, he paid what he paid, you know. So I'm bring, I'm comfortable bringing this from 9120 down to 5,000. I'm I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. I'll make that motion for All right. Dave, a second. Second. Okay. Well, what was the motion? To bring it to 5,000 from 9120 to 5,000. Tony made the motion. Dave seconded. Dave seconded. All those in favor? Okay. Unanimous. Was well, actually, most of them are really good shape, but they're pretty good. Well, yeah. you know, if you know, pick up good. one of those, you're going to be proud of it for the rest of your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, the next one was uh, Philip Papa and Sons. Uh, this was a truck, uh, 189,000 miles, a 1999 F550 truck. This is the one she didn't bring the picture with the truck. How about that? Just How about that photo? Yeah, yeah, just the body. I like the dump bed. Yeah. It is the dump bed. That's what David was saying. But who cares about the dump bed? It's not All we got is a little picture of the, of the door. Right. Yeah. It was a limited amount of information that she gave us. Current assessment 11,440. Um, they mm -hmm. said estimated value of 54.92 based on NADA report. Um, I guess just under 200,000 miles. Yeah, yeah. So this was, yeah, because the, the front picture, right? This was, yep. Yeah, those are the only ones. There's this one that in the front that, that wasn't in there. Yeah. Okay. They got some rust and dent on the one in the front. front. Yeah. Um, you want to make a, a small reduction. Again, we don't have a view of the whole vehicle because apparently it was being used at work today. There's a bunch for sale. 16, 8, 12, 9, 18, 8. The only trouble is it all happened to be what's on the back. Yep. Yeah, check that. Here's the truck with no cat and nothing on it, 5,900. Just to check. 11 4 is probably too much, but. Were you down to 9,000? 8,000, 9,000? Yeah, I was thinking 10, so nine, nine, I'm okay with 9 as well. Do you, do you see this? The 5492, do you see that in the map? Yeah. Would she get that number? Uh, she didn't say. They said no, the report was closed. Uh, there's. I'm not sure if that's. Our current mileage is It's it's I don't think it's Nana. It's it's this, whatever this is, Dave. Yeah. No, that's, that's definitely not an idea. She she said Nana report, but that doesn't look like it. No, okay. On this printout though, his current mileage is three hundred and sixty-three thousand miles. Where did that come from? That's true. We'll bring it down to 54 and two is pretty low. So no, I think it's too low. Yeah. So 9,000? 9,000. I'll second the motion, Jeff. I'll make a motion to bring it from 11,440 to 9,000. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous? Unanimous. And there's a lot of money there. Not that cheap, though, but you know, it's. She should have done. You know, excuse me, she should take a picture of the truck. She took a picture of the back. You know? I mean, we'll make sure stuff. next time it comes back to kind of bed. Uh, moving on to our 10 o'clock, Kayla Morin. Um, she had, now this one we had reduced in the past. Uh, this is a 2008 Ford Escape. Uh, we have it at 3680 last 13, time. Uh, we, we went knocked it down to 13, uh, yeah, 1350 dollars. This one had rust in the back, two fenders. I mean, I'll make a motion leave it at 13550. 1350. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll second that. You said 1350? Yeah, that's what it was last year. All those in favor? Aye. Well, any opposed? No, unanimous. Okay. Um, next one is uh, Sherry Morin, 91 Parkview. This one was uh, 2003 Ford Explorer. Um, current assessment was 2680. Last year, we knocked it down to 700. Okay. So I, make motion. I make a motion to do the same value as last year, seven hundred dollars. Okay, Tony. No, I'll, I'll second the motion. She does have over two hundred ten thousand miles on this truck. 
All, All right. the mechanicals are okay, but I think it's more than a reduction. Okay, reduction from 2680 to the same 700 we marked it down to last year. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, unanimous. Okay. Uh, next is um, Lorenzo Pinto. Uh, this is the a 2019 Kia uh, EV, and uh, he recently paid nearly 40000 for it, and he now estimates that the value is 29000 We have the assessment at $26,950. Um, it's an electric car. We had this come in, I think, on a couple of Chevys a couple of years ago. The hook value is off the lot. Uh, do drop quickly, and he was proud of the tax credit that he got when he bought it. And that's why he bought it for that kind of money. If you remember the question I asked you, why don't you buy one that's an hour old off the lot and save yourself $9,500? You don't get the tax credit. He purchased it in July of 2019, paid $39,500. Brand new. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I just honestly don't. 2009, 38, 5 to 44,000. Right. I don't know what you got. Isn't it? Yeah. Are you finding anything online? Yeah. Just find that one. That's a bunch of this there. Just 38.5. Okay. Brand new, right? Used? Yeah, that would be brand new. Yeah, I mean, it almost hasn't. Yeah. I, I mean, I just don't see what, what, it. Really. So, what's his point? He wants to take three grand? Or? Well, we'll see what they're going for you. Yeah. Okay, so we'll find this one. Give him a We sort of have to. Yeah. I mean, he only had 700 miles out of 10 1. I just don't. I don't see it. I don't see the. 36 9. 33,000, 35,000, 4, 38, 9, 45, 000, 45, 000, 45 000. 000. I think it's 1,000 probably a gift. That would be too low. Yeah. He's all got mileage on 70,000 miles. I, I don't see any reason to change this assessment. No. Can you say what his mileage is? 700 miles. 700 miles. Put oh, yeah. it in the garage park. Okay. Here's one with 36,000, 636 miles, 38 miles. There's nothing at 29, so it's 45,000. So those are new 2019. Yeah, I, I make a motion we don't change it. Kind of a gift. Yep. Yeah. I will second that. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I remember there was a Chevy electric car that we had, and we went online to check out them all. That make and model did drop 20%. Yeah, but this one has Chevy Bolt. I think that's what it was. Okay. Uh, the next one, Rackle, was a no show. Uh, the next one, uh, Carmine Saparoso. He uh, paid 1000 last year. Yeah, yeah, we knocked it down to a thousand. This is a Chevy Malibu, um, and he he didn't bring it in because he he, he doesn't have insurance on it currently. But we knocked it down to a thousand last I'm, year. I'm like a motion to keep it to a thousand. Okay, um, had 120,000 miles on it. I think he said it might be worth 1,500, so 70 percent. I don't think it will happen. I don't think it will happen. So nope, I agree. I'll second the motion. Okay, all those in favor of reducing the assessment to a thousand? Aye. Okay, unanimous. Okay. All right, all right. next one is Dominic Serignisi. Um, that is uh, 
that is another one that we reduced last year uh, from 8240 to 4200. Uh, current assessment is 7790. Um, it looked great, but he said there were a number of items with it, including, I guess, a serious crash that he had at one point. Did he say serious crash or just crash? I don't know. Was that the one with the deer? Deer in the guardrail? Yeah. The guardrail is in the deer. Uh, as I said, last year we knocked it down to 4,200. Dave, you checked this out a little more thorough this year. You walked around it and talked to them more about yeah, it. the car's purchase edition. 5,219,000. So maybe we went too far last year. Might have been. Yeah, let's go a little higher than last year. I mean, I think it's worthy of some reduction, but it only has 98,000 miles. That's not a lot of miles for a car that's yeah. in 2005. And like Dave said, it, was, it looked good. It, it looked, looked very good. It was on fault. Yeah, yeah. He said he was upset with some holes in the body. <laughs> several, several times. Yeah, on. he did. <laughs> yeah. We're at 77.90. Want to bring it down to five? Six. Six. Six, I'm good with. Six, I'm good with. I'll make a motion to bring it from 7790 to 6000. Uh, I'll second that. All right. Uh, motion second to reduce it to from 7790 to 6000. Assess. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Unanimous. Okay, next one is Sally Co. Uh, Lawrence Elsner 34 Penwood. This is one we've had before. Uh, last year we reduced it from 15,590 to 10,500. Current assessment is 12,010. So this this was the, the town car that had been fairly high miles, um, had been used as a limo, a limo, limo. which he's like not doing anymore. So 140,000 miles on a four-year-old car. So there's certainly something warranted for high mileage. Other than that, I think the car looks fine. Do you want to just return it to 10,500 10, like we did last year? Yeah, that's the assessment. Yeah, right? last year. yeah. okay. Because of the mileage. mileage. Right. From 12,010 to 10,500. Is that a motion? I'll make that motion. Uh, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous? Let's hear your word for the day, Jeff. Unanimous. Love those unit unanimous. Unanimity. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Next one is uh, Trena, Sebastiano Trena. Uh, there's another one. This is the Alfa Romeo GTD. Um, Current assessment is 12,950. This is the one that hasn't run in, what was it, 10 years or something like that? It's not a spider, Dave. You said it was a GT. Mm -hmm. No historic plate, but he will be getting a antique plate. He went to uh, do that very he did, his, he did his uh, affidavit a couple months ago. 181,000 miles on it? That's something you expect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is, uh, doesn't start. Towed it to what is that what he said? Yeah. That's another one, Dave. You're going to find numbers all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to cut it in half? Well, let's just see if it doesn't sound like a word. 
I mean, you should have brought some pictures. You didn't bring one. Yeah, should have brought, should have brought more detail. I should have said, this is for you. You ask as much detail as possible, don't you? They can't if they could bring stuff in. Yep. Especially, especially if it's sitting in the garage. We send them as in your packet. Yeah. It's in your folders. The confirmation we send that um, tells them what to expect and what they should bring and what's acceptable and stuff. You want to say no change? We could. I'm just going to see if it's going to work. Yeah. I don't want to just skip it. It's not out of my book. Do you use the CPI pricing guide at any of these or the Krauts publication guide or do you just stick them to the NAPA? Mm -hmm. No. This is the classic collectible NADA for exotic and and the variety of cars, the guide is uh, updated annually using the uh, 2019 for September through December. He's going to put the plate, if he puts the antique plate on it next year, we won't see. Right. I mean, a few of the others we didn't reduce. And six, 16,000 or 38,000. He should have got Limited data. Yeah, but they're all just 1290. Not out of crazy. Okay, you know, good condition. You should have brought something. You bring anything in the parents. I'll make a motion, no change, mm -hmm. limited information. Yeah. And this could be a $50,000 car. You want to second the motion? I'll second the motion. All right. Uh, motion made and seconded. All those in favor of no change in assessment? Aye. Aye. Right. Unanimous. We have a pretty thorough listing for more detail on it. We were off, so. Well, um, you know, you bring in a car that's. Bring the car in itself, because or at least more solid. Average value for here is a hard one. Average value for this car is 36. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. I'm not going to scan anything. That's a good thing. Due diligence. All right. Um, next one, Monica Stefanski. Uh, she had a rebuilt title. She had a rebuilt title. She had been in two years ago, and we gave her a reduction. Last year, she didn't didn't come in. Um, so I think she just made an error by not coming in. So. Uh, question is, I think it's worth more than four thousand as requested. We have a ninety-eight hundred dollars value, one hundred forty-nine thousand nine. Okay, it will look nice. It's got some dents in it, if I remember. But overall, it was in good shape. In good shape. And it was rebuilt tile again. Yeah, it's back to that thirty percent discount. From that would bring it down to seven thousand to ninety-eight forty. The total difference. I'll make the motion then to go from 9840 to 7000. All second? I'll second. Dave, Dave second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. Change in assessment from 9840 to 7000 passed unanimously. Okay. And then the um, we're going to skip over Chen because um, I think he's outside. So the the last one we have other than Chen is we have two fairly I guess identical pretty much identical um, 2012 VPGs for uh, for transporting handicapped people. Um, current assessments on both are 18940. I think he indicated what he had paid 6500 6, each yeah. each for those. Plus he, he brought in one for sale. So he's looking at so for sale oh yeah, for 4500 or something like that. Um, he bought them in Maryland uh, for, from a dealer in Maryland in May of 19. And he had delivery plates on those. This is the one he had a transmission in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally. 
yeah, where the wheelchairs go. Um, his, his estimate of value was 8,500, um, which I could, I can certainly live he, with. Even though we paid 6,500. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe because he had done some work on it. But he did work on it, but he still has 185,000 miles. On it. Right. Um, I don't think, look at that, it was still 8,500, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he said 8,500. Are you okay with that, Tony? Oh, yeah. you, what would that number be on the uh, assessment? Mm -hmm. Six grand. Okay, so six thousand. Yep. Is it two thousand for eight years? Is it two thousand eleven? One hundred one thousand miles for fifteen nine. So what is the worth of money? Another nineteen nine fifty thousand fifty thousand miles. Yeah, this is 2012, 8,000 yeah, the, the, the book value is off of that fourth, fifth, sixth digit of the bin number. So, so the base value that the assessor starts from is within reason. Yeah. You know, assuming you're buying it roadworthy with reasonable mileage. These have high miles on them. What uh, question you want to show? Yeah. They run pretty fast. Yeah, they probably yeah. use them a lot. They have yeah. a handicap purpose too. 85, 18, 9, that's what seems high. But they all seem to have a much lower merit mileage. Are they using livery plates too? Yeah, those might not be. Not either. Are they? Are they? Yeah, the ones you're looking up? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll go a little higher. Than We're at eighteen nine now. Want to lower it to ten thousand? No, we just took a little more. Okay, that's second time. Yeah, thirteen hundred. Yeah, that's what people want. That's what they say. You saying he's buying two more at sixty five hundred bucks, something like that? Yeah. Or less. Or forty five hundred. It's out of state. Yeah. Out of state though. Seventy eight thousand dollars, twenty one thousand, seventy three thousand dollars, fourteen thousand, hundred one thousand dollars, fifteen thousand. So they're holding their value. They're, they're up there. They're up above it's, twelve to fifteen thousand. Yeah, yeah, so I mean I I think maybe so ten, I don't know. I was I comfortable know, with maybe, that. They were rough. Yeah, they were. We had the transfer, we had transmission at the back seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So from eighteen nine forty to ten thousand. Yeah. For both. For both. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that motion. Yeah. Dave, you okay with that? I'm okay with that second. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're covering both of the vehicles. We're reducing both from eighteen nine forty to an even ten thousand. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Seconding that. I right. second it. Dave. Okay. So Chen is outside. He's also, I guess, the same family as Shui for 920. Can you check on the paperwork for Shui if the other, this Chen person is on the vehicle, listed on the vehicle? You should have the, mm -hmm. they should have the QDS printout. So I told him if he's not, then he can't appeal it on her behalf. But if he is, he can. And they had sold the, 2012 Prius. So there's a second person? So the person that's here is Chen with the 2010 Prius. And then there was this one way up here back at no, That didn't show up? It, it, it is the same address. They're both it's the same address. I don't think that Chen is on listed as an owner on the 2012. You, you guys back to this, you guys wanted both of these at the 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, did I that? Okay. Want to take them both? Um, well, I guess that's the question whether we can. You want me to see? Let me check the paper. Yeah, because I gave you that the uh, the way at nine twenty. I gave that back to you, uh, Juana, earlier. Oh, that's the other one. Did they have both cars here? No, the two thousand twelve is was sold. So the, on the copy of oh. one. there's a copy of that adjustment okay. there, but the, have to do this the assessment that's listed on your sheet is the full assessment as if it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. in other words, so this one's gone. I just see the name. From Zill is gone. Okay. So we're going to see Chen right now. We'll come back. Chen is the only one still waiting, right? Well, I'll do it. 
Yeah, so last year, we actually knocked both of these down. Last year, we knocked the, uh, the sway down to 4760. Yeah. So we don't care about that. Anymore. Right. Well, if it's on the ground list, he still, it's still assessed. Okay. Well, we so we might adjust it, it, but he would still have start out mm -hmm. the value of what? The formal application has been submitted, but the car's not here, correct? Yeah, and I think yeah, there's a question as to if if they have the authority to appear on behalf on one of the other ones, right? Yes, that's what I'm questioning is if Chen can can appeal without authorization for Shui if he's listed on. I'd say no. He's not on the car. He's under, so he can't drive. Okay, so he's here with the 2010 Toyota. So let's go look at the. Let's go look at. We'll right. I'm going to pause recording. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, my recording time. has been restarted at 12:02 p.m. On the Prius, they cut it back last year. So Which Prius are we on? The 2012 or the 10? 10. 10 to 10. Okay. Pretty last year. So whatever we did pay last year, I think we keep it the same. Okay. Yeah, we knocked it down to 2450. Uh, so that would go from 5130 to 2450. I'll make that motion. A second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 2450, you said? Sorry. Yeah, and that's on the, the 2010. The 2010. 10, the 10. And then Dave seconded. Okay. And then the other one is on the car that has been sold. Last year we reduced it from 7330 to 47. 60 and they said they just sold it a month ago for 4300. I'll make the motion we keep it the same as last, as last year. Yeah, okay, I can't imagine what happened now. So, Tony, you good with that? I'll second it. Okay, so the uh, motion made and seconded to reduce it from this is the uh, the 2012 yeah. Toyota Prius from 7000 to. 4760. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. So are you prorating that in addition to reducing the assessment? Yeah. Well, I mean, because if they sold it, 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 the bill sale. it probably already has been prorated to the bill sale. Yeah. So we have to adjust the gross assessment to, to what you guys reduced it to and then prorate it from that. Uh, I think. I think we're done. Well, we're done. I'll make a yeah. motion to adjourn. I'll still make that. Second. All right. We are adjourned at uh, 12.04. Well done, everybody. Thank you for hanging in there with us. This is a 7, 4760. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. All right. Be sure. Bye, guys. Bye.